In today's video, we'll be learning how to do the Paracord Mad Max watch strap. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. So, um, I know you guys liked the knot and loop Paracord watch strap and in the video I asked if you guys wanted to see the Mad Max version and I got a few comments saying that uh, you guys did. So of course we're doing that today. All right. So I um, love the way this one turned out. Pretty simple to do, not too difficult. Um, and it works just fine as the Mad Max closure. I like it. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, guys, remember if you're looking for all the stuff I use in the video, check out those um, links in the description box down below. And also if you really want to, you guys really love what I do, um, you can check out uh, and see what I have to offer on Patreon. I do exclusive uh, tutorials and giveaways there. So the exclusive tutorial and giveaway uh, for the month of January is coming up very soon. So uh, feel free to get in on that if you want to. All right, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to do this uh, Mad Max watch strap, I've got my first piece of paracord. I've got it doubled over, and this is the midpoint where my thumb is. Now we're going to use the same method as the knot and loop one. We're going to take our toothpick. That's going to kind of be the placeholder for that uh, pin for your uh, watch strap. And now you're going to figure out your length of your... This is going to be the... Um, not side. Yes, that's right. This not side. So uh, for me, I'm just going to compare it to my previous strap. Um, so I'm going to make it about the same length. Like so. Yeah, it's about right. I can probably adjust that later. In terms of for measurement, uh, let me ruler. Overall for me, this not side will be just about three and a half inches. Roughly, okay. So, we've got our two pieces of paracord, or sorry, piece of paracord like this. Now we're going to take the strand on the right. We're going to bring it around and over the core like that. And then on the other side, we're going to bring this around, around the toothpick like so. And then put that over top, the, uh, the other strand. Bring it behind and then put it through this side. Okay, so it's really just a cobra knot, like so. I'm gonna pull this shut. Now this is going to get a little tricky because you'll have to adjust it slightly. It's always gonna change after you tie that first knot, but really all I did was I just tied that first cobra knot over the toothpick, like so. Okay, so ensure that your length is correct and then you're just going to continue. So tie the next cobra knot, left strand over the core, right behind that, then through to the other side. So after the second knot, you pull it tight and then we can pull this down a bit. Pull this tight and cinch that up. You see how it's uh, nice and tight now. So you're just going to continue tying these cobra knots going down the uh, length of your loop here. Okay, so tie that all the way down uh, to the end when you get to the loop, leaving just a tiny bit of space. Okay, so I've tied down to the end of my loop here and we're just gonna leave this as it is for now because we have to move on to the other side. Okay, so now I've got my other piece of paracord and I've got a toothpick again. This time we're going to do a uh, cow's hitch. So I've got the middle point right here. I'm gonna bend it over. And now you're going to put the strands right through here. Okay, pull that shut. So this is going to be the, uh, the I guess the So this other side is going to be where we feed our strands through to make that Mad Max closure. So now what I'm going to do, I've got my other piece here. I'm just again going to gauge my measurement like so. So I'm going to bend that around. So I want these roughly the same size or length. I'm going to bend that around and now you could put a toothpick through the top here. You don't have to. Um, now I'm going to tie cobra knots going this way, okay? So, I've got this strand here. I just put the right over the core. 
left over top of that. Put that through to the other side. Like that. And then we're just going to pull that shut. Okay, and then we're going to just continue tying our cobra knots going down again. So pull that second knot shut, and then you can pull this one closed. And again, you want these knots uh, tight because we're going to feed the other strands through. So pull that shut, and then just tie your cobra knots going all the way down this way here. Okay, so tie those cobra knots. Then we can... Uh, assemble after this. Okay, this piece is done. Just tied cobra knots all the way down to the little cow's hitch there and make sure that toothpick stays in there. Now coming back to our first piece, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one strand on the right. We're going to put that, this one, see it's coming out towards me. I'm going to put that one through the front here. Okay, like that. And then with the other one, uh, I'm actually going to grab my FID for this. Let's make it a little easier. This one that's kind of coming out the back, I'm going to bring it through the back and through the front. Okay. So that is that. So now what we're going to do is um, I'm actually going to snip and singe these cords here. Uh, the excess cords on this piece. And then what we're going to do now is we can feed these two strands through this end and then tie the diamond knot and that'll make the Mad Max closure. So snipped and singed that excess, that's fine. We can put that down there. And now on this side, I'm gonna grab my FID. We put it on one end of one of our strands. Of course, make sure these match up you know, here and here. So this is the strand on the left. It's gonna go through the loop on the left here. I'm just gonna widen this out first. Let's get that fit through there. Okay, put that through. Now let's do the other side. Go through the same way. The other side here. And there we go. So that is the Mad Max closure. All right. Now, last step is we tie our diamond knot, which is going to go, you know, right here. So that's why we need all this excess cord. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly tie my diamond knot. Um, we can always adjust it, but I'll put it maybe about right here. Okay, diamond knot is tied. Uh, if that wasn't clear, I will link my um, dedicated diamond knot tutorial down below. So um, that's good. And you can see we have our Mad Max closure now. Now all we have to do is install this onto our watch. So of course I have my Seiko here and I've just got this simple NATO strap on it. I'm gonna take this off. So for this installation, probably gonna do it off camera. It's really finicky, but you do need a uh, watch tool to remove, like, you know, to take these pins out. So just take those pins out and then replace it um, with the, uh, take the toothpick out and then, you know, slide that on in there where the pin goes, right? So where the toothpick is, where the pin's gonna be. Uh, for this side, 
be really careful when taking this uh, toothpick out because this is just a simple cow stitch and it could uh, come undone. So pinch it there, take the toothpick out, and then put that other pin in and then attach it on. Okay, so I'm going to install this onto my watch and um, then we'll, we'll be finished. Oh, and also uh, I'm not cutting off the excess paracord yet. I just wanted to make sure everything's, uh, you know, proper and then I will snip and snip the excess paracord. Okay, so those straps are installed. It was a definite struggle. Probably wouldn't have been able to see anything if I tried to film it. My fingers would just be in the way. Anyhow, um, yeah, that's good to go. So see it works properly. Now, um, I just made sure I had enough clearance, you know, when opening it to get my wrist through and I can. So now I can just snip and singe the excess paracord off the end of the diamond knot and then we'll be finished. Okay, there we go. We are done. So snipped off that excess paracord at the end of the diamond knot and the closure works perfectly as a Mad Max closure watch trap. Really cool this one. I like how this turned out. Um, yeah, I mean, we love the Mad Max closure, so why not make it a watch strap? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, remember, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already and you want to see more content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.